Hello Year 6, now we're going to look at our introduction to our non-chronological report on trenches. To start with, as usual, we're going to look at idioms. So we've got not for a month of Sundays, against the clock, around the clock, and call it a day. Take a moment to read what each idiom means and how you might use it in your everyday life. OK, I move on to the next slide now. Our two spellings for today are immediate and immediately. As you can see yet again, we have our double consonants, double M in both words. Just to remind you, we're just going to have a spelling check on Friday on the words that you'll be learning this week. Don't worry too much. It won't be in your book. It's just at home. If you don't want to share your answers, don't worry. It's just to try and help you learn your year five, six spellings. So immediate, immediately. So our next English lesson. We're going to be writing an introduction, as I said earlier. You're going to be using the past tense as we are talking about the war, which was in the past. I can use factual information, not my opinions. I can use a formal tone. OK, for this part of the session, we're going to try something a little bit new, breakout rooms. Now, it's you to me as well, so we're going to have to just bear with us, really, while we see if we can sort this out. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put you into rooms where an adult will be leading, and you will be discussing which features you can find in this introduction, what makes it an introduction and not part of the text. OK. So your job is to find five features. You need to keep this screen on your device, but join the Teams meeting or the breakout room that I have put you in. So can you pause this video and come back into Teams, but you need to have this ready to have a look at whilst you're talking in your Teams meeting. OK, these are the features that I have found within this introduction. Have a look through, see if you found the same or maybe different features of this introduction. This should lead you into feeling comfortable about how to write your own introduction about trenches. OK, your turn. You are writing an introduction to your report on trenches. Read your research so far. Think about how you could introduce your report. You could, for example, mention that the trenches became the home to thousands of soldiers, that they were muddy. You could briefly describe them, long, narrow ditches dug into the ground. You could describe them as very busy places where soldiers spent all day and all night. Remember, do not give too much away. You want the reader to, con to continue reading. To do this task, you can either use your own paper or there's lined paper under files. You will be publishing your work next week. It does need to be neat enough for me to read when I see it on your when you send it into emails. But don't worry too much about your handwriting as we're going to have a publishing sense, um, session um, at the end of the week, if possible, if not next week. Right, read what Snoop, Snoopy says. Snoopy says, hey, remember to use the success criteria you rate yourself about the features of a great report. Don't forget, email out to us when you're finished. Good luck, guys.